The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a yacht from Maritimo that embodies the luxury and style we've come to expect from the brand. It's the X50, an owner-operator's dream, not only for its ease of use, but for its multiple gathering areas that beg for a crowd to come aboard and revel in its luxury. The Maritima was designed for serious entertaining and much of that will take place on its aft deck and on its teak beach astern. And there things get interesting. This innovation is what Maritimo calls its beach club. The transom hydraulically opens to reveal an aft cabin adjoining the vessel's teak beach. Here family and friends can swim, sit for a dip on the teak beach as it hydraulically submerges or sunbathe with the platform up. Then just steps away, retreat to a shaded hideaway with deck chairs, an ice bucket and a bottle of wine. The bar looks out on a sea view almost at water level. Behind is a wet bar that can be equipped with an ice maker, wine cooler, and refrigerator freezer drawers. Above is a flat screen TV. To port is ahead with porcelain toilet and sink next to a separate shower stall, all handy for bathers so they don't have to walk through the boat. There's a clever fold out cozy bed for two tucked under the bar. Just raise up the counter and now the owners or guests can enjoy a midday nap or an evening asleep under the stars, breathing the fresh sea air. There's adequate clearance between the foot of the bed and the wet bar. Maritimo offers other options for this aft space, including an aft stateroom with the same head and walk-in shower and a chest of drawers and hanging locker, or a tender garage large enough for a 10-foot, 6-inch Williams tender. To starboard is a companionway to the main deck. A hanging locker with mirrored doors faces this companionway. The aft deck is accessible from stairs to both sides. A stainless framed acrylic gate with teak top rail is at the top of both stairs and includes drop-in latching. Just inside are compartments to both sides for line storage and the one to port includes the wired remote for the hydraulic platform. An important aspect of the aft deck is that it is large, the deck space alone being over 46 square feet making it quite functional for a cocktail party. Bench seating is across the aft side and storage is beneath the cushions. Ahead and to starboard is an outdoor cooking station. A hatch lifts to reveal a stainless steel electric grill and sink. Below is access to the drip pan from the grill, storage, and a drawer refrigerator. Another outdoor venue is forward where Maritimo added two sun pads to the top of the trunk cabin. The backs lift for conversion to chaise lounge positions. With the triple folded door to port, we can see the easy flow into the galley and the salon all on one level. On the port side is an attractive wood cabinet that contains a space saving pantry to the left. Right alongside is the refrigerator. It's full size with freezer drawers below. A four burner Miele cooktop is flushed to the solid surface counter and a Miele convection oven is below. There's a stainless steel single basin sink. Storage and a dishwasher are below. An island offers more counter space, storage, and an ice maker. The galley deck is luxury vinyl cardine simulated wood. The counters in the backsplashes are Corian. Stairs to the aft cabin, or beach club as the case may be, are just across. Ahead is a storage cabinet with a flat screen TV that can be swiveled into position and this can be ordered on an electric lift. A fusion stereo is in the drawer just below. Ahead, salon seating consists of a U-shaped sofa to port surrounding an expandable solid wood table on a stainless pedestal. Storage is underneath the cushions. To starboard, there's another sofa creating opposing seating for a conversational atmosphere. Overhead is a large opening sunroof fitted with bug screen and blackout shade. This, combined with the opening side windows and aft doors, really serve to blend the outside with the inside. We access the lower deck accommodations from a center mounted companionway next to the helm. This accommodations drawing shows the master and VIP stateroom. Forward of the dining settee is an atrium that brings light into the accommodations foyer. The stairs down to the stateroom are carpeted. On the way down is a leather wrapped handhold to the left. First, let's take a whirlwind trip around this unusual VIP space. Most boats in class jam the berth into the bow, but this one is mounted on the diagonal and is easy to make up. The berth is mounted athwartships to starboard, so we don't need steps to both sides and instead have a single level. A narrow hull side window is to port. Storage is below to port and ahead, along with twin nightstands. A hanging locker is alongside the entrance to the head. This is a fully featured head and includes a walk-in shower. There's also a separate entrance allowing this to serve as a day head. Storage is in the usual places above and below the sink vanity. 
The master stateroom is located aft and it's full beam. There's a queen size berth center mounted, a king size berth can be ordered, and it reduces side walkway space by only 6 inches. Note that the carpeted deck all around the bed is on one level. There's no step down between stringers as we sometimes see. And there's mood lighting all around the foot of the bed. Headroom here is 7 feet and notice that it's not interrupted by unsightly steps as we sometimes see. The center sections of the bulkhead panels are covered in fabric which owners can choose and the outboard sides are framed in dark stained wood. The hull side windows and opening ports are to both sides. Under the port side window is a chest of drawers with a hanging locker behind a mirror door just alongside. Note that the hanging locker is full height. To starboard is a desk and a sofa. There are three drawers for the desk. On each side of the sofa are nightstands with drawers. Flat screen TV is mounted to the bulkhead between the entry and the door to the master head. This space also includes a walk-in shower that is 7 feet high. The shower stall door is glass and above is a skylight. Storage is behind mirror cabinets above the sink. This countertop, just like all the others in the boat, is made of Corian, with additional storage below. This is truly a family-friendly boat that can sleep six comfortably. Her multiple gathering areas and level of luxury make for bragging rights to go along with the entertaining capabilities. She's also well-mannered underway, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, this is my full features inspection of the X-50 from Maritimo Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.